Welcome everyone back to a brand new video on the channel. Of course, as you guys can tell by today's title, this is going to be everything you might have missed from the Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer gameplay reveal live stream. I just got done watching it about five minutes ago, guys. I was watching all the players who were playing after the live stream. Basically, Noisy Butters, Joe Wo, all those guys who are playing the multiplayer gameplay right now. But I wanted to talk to you guys about what I noticed from the live stream and touch on each of those things slightly. So the first thing that I noticed, one of the Japanese characters from the gameplay reveal was using a sword and only a sword. Now I don't of course believe that that's, you know, a kill streak or anything. I believe that character was solely using just a sword, a katana basically. I also noticed another player, most likely an American character, using a baseball bat. Now that of course tells me there's going to be many different melee weapons that you're going to be able to use throughout this. Now I know in previous Call of Duty games, you could use a shovel, you could use a knife, you could use a baseball bat, you could use brass knuckles, whatever the game creators wanted to add to it, you could use as a melee. And I found that to be really cool. I like the fact that they're bringing that back and it's not solely a knife. Now, of course, we also noticed there was a Juggernaut. The Juggernaut is an insane character previously seen in Call of Duty Modern Warfare games. I'm genuinely surprised that they're bringing the Juggernaut into a World War II era shooter, but I do really, really like that. As well, keeping with the Treyarch theme, Call of Duty Black Ops, guys. The RCXD light controllables that we've had in all of the Call of Duty games. I believe it was the HCXD in Black Ops 3 and Black Ops 4. And I like that they're bringing it back. This time as more of a mini, mini tank is kind of the way it looks. It has mini tracks on it. I really, really like that. Of course, we've already seen this in the campaign, but the multiplayer is going to have breakable and penetrable parts of the map. You're going to change the map as you play, shooting, sprinting through parts of the map, walls, windows, doors, and of course that is pretty cool that they're bringing that into the game as well as just the campaign, they're bringing it into the multiplayer. I think that's going to be a pretty dynamic way of going about it, and I really enjoy that. Of course, there's also going to be a minigun. Now, I'm not sure how the minigun is going to work, whether it's going to be basically a kill streak, which you have to call in and then pick up from a supply drop, whether it's going to be something you can carry around with you, and then when you get a certain number of kills, that's going to be your weapon. I really like that the minigun is going to be in the game, and it seems to do a lot of damage. Of course, a minigun should. There's going to be an extreme amount of gun customization as well. You guys saw, of course, from the live stream trailer, there's going to be so many different attachments for these weapons. Now, I'm not sure if every weapon, like, you know, secondaries, pistols, launchers, I doubt those are going to have as much customization, especially launchers, but primary weapons, I'd imagine, are going to have a ton of customization and a ton of attachments, everything from the barrel to the stock to the grip. I find that to be really, really cool. They did also say that with the launch of the game, there's going to be the most content from launch. 20 total maps. Four of those are going to be for Champion Hill, 16 are going to be for every single game mode. That's going to be a lot of maps, guys. Most Call of Duties that we've gotten have launched with anywhere from 8 to about 12 maps, 20 total maps. That's going to be an insane amount of gameplay, each of them having destructible elements on them. Pretty insane to see something like that. As well, if you guys haven't already downloaded the preload for the beta, you can preload it onto your console or your PC as of right now. You guys can actually play very, very soon. It's insane that they already have the preload for the beta out, but you guys should definitely hop onto that if you play on console. And that actually brings me to my final point, which is cross-platform play between PC, Xbox, and PlayStation 5. This is going to be absolutely awesome. I like the fact that they're finally doing this. We've been talking about this for years, having PC players playing with Xbox players, playing with PlayStation players. We finally are getting it, guys. We've wanted it for years, and we finally have it. Cross-platform play is going to be available and Warzone, of course, is going to be playing with a bunch of new stuff. Warzone is going to have tons of new content, a brand new map, lots of new guns. Everything from Call of Duty Vanguard basically will be available in Call of Duty Warzone, depending on how the creators want to go about that. But I think this is going to be an insane launch. I think that Call of Duty Vanguard is going to be an awesome game. Of course, they have a lot to fix right now. Some of the guns are overpowered. Some of them are way too underpowered. They have to check up on any bugs, any glitches. 
basically everything wrong with the game that they need to fix. I think this game has a lot of potential and I can't wait to play it. I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. And as always, thank you guys for tuning in to a brand new video. Later, peace.